This week on Machinery PTV, a chapter closes on a farming life with the David's Meyer Farm Estate Sale in central Illinois. This classic John Deere D gets an electric update, and we'll look at a country legend's connection to farm machinery. Your machinery is a serious investment, and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machine Repeat TV. Now, on our menu for you today, we're going to watch a pair of New Holland tractor cell low hours, a grain cart, three gravity wagons, and a pair of trucks. Now, before we have all this fun, we got to throw it back to the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Dryness and drought in farm country are becoming a bigger issue right now. This graphic from the American Farm Bureau Federation putting it in perspective. The areas in red and dark red facing dryness and 11 million corn acres rated in poor or very poor condition. Now that's according to the latest data from USDA. The latest crop progress report showing a five point drop in corn conditions and soybean conditions are also falling. The U.S. and China have now met to talk about the Phase 1 trade agreement. The two sides announcing discussions were held via telephone this week. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer and Chinese Vice Premier Liu He holding the talks to assess the situation and the status of the agreement between the two countries. The Chinese news agency calling them a constructive dialogue. More money is going into the Farmers to Families Food Box program. President Trump touring a company in North Carolina helping to assemble those boxes, then announcing he's investing more money into the program. Today I'm proud to announce that we will provide an additional $1 billion to fund the Farmers to Families Food Box program. It's worked out so well. It's worked out so well. The program has delivered nearly 70 million boxes of fresh food grown by farmers to people all over the country during the pandemic. That's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. And now back to Machinery Repeat. Don't touch that dial, folks. Coming up, more blue goodness you're not going to want to miss. A 2009 New Holland T8010. This thing's only got 1,971 hours on it. Hey folks, I'm here with Penny Davidsmeyer and Penny, gosh, we wish it was a different circumstance we were here today, but uh, Martin, your husband, passed this spring? Yes, May 11th. Okay, and you guys had farmed a little under a thousand acres here around uh, Virginia, Illinois? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And Family was, farm. But you did not, now you did not grow up on a farm, right? No, no, I was a, a city girl, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so how was that like as you guys started your farming uh, career? Oh, it was an eye-opening experience because, well, Simply put, I'd never seen anything give birth before. Okay. And he was at ISU, and he worked in the uh, f on the farm in the beef department. Sure. And I was pregnant, and the first thing I ever see born was a calf he pulled with a log chain. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the farm. <laughs> it was welcome to the farm world, Penny. <laughs> wow. Uh, but now you you farmed right with Mark. Yes. I mean, you. I've heard. You, just before we started filming, you were talking to some folks about the combine. Yeah. I think you convinced them to buy this thing. Oh, right? I don't know about that, but I didn't want them to go with out greasing this one zerk that I didn't know about. Right. So, right. so over the years, Penny, uh, how would you describe uh, 
I mean, your life on the farm. Did you, it just became a, a part of you? Yeah, I, I can't imagine ever living any place else. Mm. Um, I have a cousin that I go visit in Chicago and I love the city, sure. but I can't imagine not living with open spaces around right. me. Well, a year and a half ago, folks, I saw three New Holland T8010 sold at auction with between 1,300 and 22 hours on them, and they sold for 62.6 up to 65,000 bucks. Now, on our auction today, we got an 09 model with 1,971 hours and super steer. All right, folks, time for a Brent grain cart. Now, last year at auction, I saw them sold anywhere from 3361 bucks on the low side, online auction in Arkansas, up to 9550 on an online auction in Iowa. Average sale price last year, $6,981. Five, 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 three, four, down sixty-five, down seven and a half, yeah, again, sixty-seven and a half, sixty-seven and a half, and a sixty-five and a half, and a seven and a half, and a sixty-five and a half, and a seven and a half, and a sixty-seven and a half, and a half, and a seven. I didn't get you seven thousand internet. I didn't get you on site internet. Y'all gonna be seven thousand. I'm on that now, seventy-two and a half, seven thousand dollars, and a half, 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 seven thousand dollars, and a half, 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 and now 87 here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Machinery Pete TV brought to you by Ag Direct. For simple, fast, and flexible equipment financing, ask for Ag Direct. Offering options to buy, lease, or refinance with attractive rates that are right for you.
Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. Well, something a little different for you this week in our dealer segment, folks. This is from our latest Machine Repeat podcast episode, an interview with Tim Brannon. Now, Tim is the owner of b g Equipment in Paris, Tennessee. I tell you what, Tim knows more about Alice Chalmers Agco Gleaner history than anyone I've ever met. Tim grew up around Alice Chalmers tractors on the farm. He went to work for the company right out of college in the mid-70s and became a dealer in 1978, still that uh, owner of that dealership today, b g Equipment, Paris, Tennessee. Now in the podcast, Tim shares some amazing stories about Alice Chalmers' history and a couple stories in particular about Loretta Lynn, yes, the coal miner's daughter, country music legend. Now Loretta and her husband Mooney had all Alice Chalmers' equipment on their dude ranch and Loretta was an ambassador for Alice Chalmers' equipment. They would set aside so much land for Alice Chalmers to use in demonstrations. And down through the years, into the, uh, from the late 70s to the early 80s, uh, Alice Chalmers would bring customers and farmers into the uh, Loretta Lynn Farms, and they would have field days and training days. Uh, also, Loretta would do a concert or two a year for uh, wow. the use of the equipment. So. Cool. It wasn't given to them free and clear. They had some sure. obligations. They had to give up so many acres of land, and Loretta had to agree to do uh, some concerts, which she freely did. Mm. And one of the best ones they did, I think, was down in Orlando, and they presented her with a shotgun. And uh, she said, oh, it's a beautiful shotgun. It's a beautiful shotgun. And Lynn Shriver said, now be careful, it's loaded. She said, oh, no, and she pulled the trigger and they had a blank in it, and the gun Ooh. went off. And of course, everybody everybody was just, uh, you know, kind of stunned there for a minute, and all of a sudden, this big deer fell down from the rafters. <laughs> it was, the place just went wild, you know. <laughs> Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, we've got a real beauty for you from West Virginia. Owner James Gray likes to show off this classic D. Shortly after he purchased this deer from a farm in Indiana, he added an electric start. He says it makes a world of difference. Nineteen thirty-eight John Deere D hand start, but then in 1938 they had an option where uh, you could put electric start on it. And my boy found electric start in Portland, Oregon, and then we brought it and uh, put the electric start on. But I showed it for many years, hand starting it, and much easier with electric start. I bought it up in Indiana, I think it was 1998. It had an old restoration on it, and then we freshened it up quite a bit, had a new rebuild in it. We did a little bit of paint, so it has, it's just an old restoration now. We haven't done anything to it basically for years. I just show it in parades and things like that. I put a new manifold on it so that I could put the twin, uh, the dual exhaust on it. That's really the only modification it has other than an alternator. And I have the original um, generator, but I wanted to make sure that the battery stayed up, so I used an alternator on it. Last year I took it up to Logan, Ohio, up to the Warsport Festival, and we took it through town there, and it makes quite a racket. and gets good attention. I don't think they see the tractor, they just hear the noise. The old D's are such a dirty vehicle, uh, you just can't keep them clean. Maybe in a few years we might re-restore it. Mechanically it's fine. It'll probably never need restored in my lifetime again. Hopefully someday I'll turn it over and let my boy have it, because he really likes it too. We'll try to keep it in the family if I can. Hey, stay with us folks. Coming up, our feature item on the show, Big Blue, a 2008 New Holland TJ380 four-wheel drive, just under $2,200 on it.
Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. All right, folks, time for our feature item on the sale today, a 2008 New Holland TJ380 four-wheel drive, 2,176 hours on it. Now, three of the last four of this model I've seen sold at auction have gone between 63,000 and 70,000, but last night on this one, the online bidding was already up to 63K. 66,000 online, 67,000, 67,000, 67. 67, you know what? It's against the law. It only bid one time. <laughs> you got you got the color, you got the shirt, you got the new Holland hat. Give seventy one thousand, old buddy. Ah, uh, come on, seventy one. Ask her. What well, she thinks? Seventy-one thousand. Seventy-one thousand. Seventy-one thousand. Still online in Leroy, Michigan. Seventy-one thousand. Seventy-one thousand. Ladies and gentlemen, the gamble tied. Seventy thousand. Seventy-one thousand. All hail it all down. One more time. Seventy-one. Now two. Now two. Seventy-one. Now three. Seventy-two. Now three. Guess what? You're out again. Seventy-one thousand. 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 Seventy-one thousand.
Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com.